Arizona, and we are reviewing a couple of goggle sets today, or space masks, whatever you want to call them. Um, Fiona has the, uh, let me see the top of yours, the Segmart. I have the, what's it called, Fiona? The Vane Cray. Vane Cray. And uh, overall, they work pretty well. They do fog up quite a bit if and you... Sometimes you feel like you can't breathe if you don't have it set up. Yeah, if you don't have it quite right, but you have to kind of pace your breathing a bit too. Um, if you breathe just right, it works. It works pretty well. Um, today we're we're testing this out at the beautiful Discovery Island. Um, we're on excursion on a Carnival cruise right now. Um, we'll do some other reviews on this cruise as well. But uh, we just saw some fish down there. Um, not a huge amount, but what did they look like? They were like striped, and then there's some other ones. Uh, yesterday we got some rainbow fish. Rainbow fish, yeah. We'll, we'll post the pictures of those in the videos um, as well. But um, overall, the masks work. I think they're easier to deal with than the typical uh, mask and snorkel. Um, you can move your mouth. I was coughing and talking when I was down there. Yeah, and I'm able to uh, to go completely underwater um, without it leaking in. Um, and what water does come in gets pushed out. Yeah, um, and I say it works it pretty well. Yeah. That just lets it out. So we'll uh, we'll test them a bit more and give you an update if they yeah, anything changes. A little update on these. Um, one thing we did discover is that the GoPro mounts that on there. It's a nice addition. However, the location is terrible. Um, it really should be either on the bottom of the mask or off to the side of the mask. But on the top of the mask, it spends a lot of time out of water unless you have it pointed straight down. So you can see it's it's mostly out of water right now it's just barely popping into water every once in a while and she has to angle it down um, but it's not really a good good view um, you're not seeing what you're really looking at in the water okay for the final verdict i'd have to say that my daughter and i both like them they're uh, easy to use they work well um, one other thing that i'll give you is a negative or positive depending on how you look at it is that they do hold a lot of air so it makes it a little more buoyancy so it makes it hard to dive with them which is fine if you're just trying to hover on the surface just trying to see what you can see below um, but if you're actually trying to dive you would have to add weight or something uh, you know I don't really know how you would do it but uh, that's something that would be a little beyond what we're looking for anyway so uh, thank you for watching <laughs>